Well, I'm Coconuts here, and today I will be doing a video that's not one of my regular videos, but it's uh, to help people in grade 8 who are uh, learning about um, cell biology and whatnot. So, this is my project, which many of you probably have to do also, which is make a model of a cell. And this model, I got a 4 on, so yeah, it's a pretty good model, I guess. And yeah, really simple materials. I got all the materials from uh, the dollar store. And yeah, I'll tell you kind of how to make it, but this is pretty much how it looks. So, um, yeah, you can read the labels. So this is a, a bacteria cell, as you can see. So, um, I first started with a shampoo bottle and em emptied out everything in the bottle and then I cut off the nozzle and started um, putting plasticine around it pretty thick as you can see like right here and I based it off a, of an um, image on Google and I, I kind of like planned it out a little bit put some green um, for the inner membranes and whatnot, and the uh, orange for the what's it called cell wall and the capsule I made it extra thick with purple plasticine and over here you know you see how it's all smooth I put um a little board I cut it out and put a little board in there and then I put plasticine over it and yeah and the flagellum just use some pipe cleaners and put some plasticine around it and this board is actually from Dollarama uh, it's pretty it's like um, a foam board uh, so I, I cut some of that out put some nice construction paper over it and put the label and the partner that did it with uh, helped me in this project is Leslie and yeah, I made the little ribosomes out of plasticine also, and the pili, uh, this was probably uh, one of the hardest parts, but it's not too hard, uh, but it took the most time, is that um, I used some wire and then put plasticine around it and just stuck it in there. And let's see, for this part, the uh, nucleoid, I just... Um, uh, wrap I mean like rolled some stuff into some red into uh, like string things and you know it, it's pretty self-explanatory as you can see and yeah if you were wondering how I cut the um, shampoo bottle I used uh, a utility knife because um, yeah it's pretty easy to cut but the nozzle is kind of hard to cut so yeah, I got a 4 on this, and if you're going to make one, I don't suggest copying the whole thing, because I'm not sure if that's plagiarism, but I don't know, but yeah. So since you watched all the way to the end of this video, um, the first comments will get a shout out in my next video, and if you like the video, and if you're a subscriber, so uh, first comment gets a shout out. And yeah, that's going to be it. If you want to see another video of this, because this video is, uh, isn't is the best video, because yeah, I, th this is just an unplanned video. I just wanted to make one to help you guys if you're in grade 8 and you're doing this project. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. And yeah, bye.